How's it going guys? This is Jamie Nieto, two-time Olympian, about to represent the United States for the high jump in London. Make sure you stay tuned, all right? I just feel truly blessed to still be out here doing it, you know, to be 35 years old and have such a long career like I've had, it's been an awesome experience. E lì Jamie Nieto, Jamie Nieto, salto a 2.34 per l'americano, seconda prova, riuscito! Jamie Nieto jumped 2.34 meters, that's just over 7 feet 8 inches. And while it was a personal best, it's only landed him a fourth place spot. And like any great athlete, Jamie knew deep down inside that he could take the world record. You know, at this level, it's all about mental. You know, shoot, I'm strong enough to jump the world record. I'm strong enough to jump that high. This is mentally being strong enough to jump that high. The mental burdens and pressure for professional athletes is often unbearable. The thought of your window of opportunity closing because of your age is one of the hardest things to digest for an athlete. In 2008, Jamie Nieto didn't make the U.S. Olympic team. And at the age of 31, most people thought his career was over, including himself. Even in 2010, I was thinking, man, you know, I, I don't even know if I really want to do this anymore, you know? Uh, especially like jumping wasn't going as well as I wanted to go and you know, sponsors falling out left and right, and you know, time was getting tough. You know, the economy's bad, so meets don't want to pay, sponsors don't want to pick nobody up. For an athlete, having a sponsor is crucial. A solid sponsor gives an athlete the opportunity to not have to focus on finances, but instead focus on improving their athletic performance. It's a lot of ups and downs, but you know, when you have these ups like this, it really makes everything worth it, you know? So going into 04, I was expecting to get a medal and it just, just missed out, you know, second, third, and fourth, we all jumped the same height. And, uh, you know, I, I end up getting fourth by misses, you know, so you get three attempts at each height, and then I jumped seven, eight on my second attempt, and they jumped in on their first attempt. So, you know, it, you know, and then I missed out the team in 2008. So, you know, coming back in 2012, winning Olympic trials and making the team again, you know, I can't do nothing but thank God. As Jamie prepares for another Olympic Games, he believes that his fate doesn't lie in his own athletic abilities, but instead in the hands of God. And, and my expectations, you know, is just, uh, to, just to keep my faith in God and just, to, you know, uh, take it one day at a time, look forward to the qualification round right now, and then look forward to a medal in the finals round. You know, that's all you can do. You can only just take it one day at a time, you know. Oh, <laughs>